am your host, Poetic Day, and today you're tuned in to Drunk Diaries. We got my girls officially tied in the building. Y'all can go ahead and introduce yourselves to the people, let them know whatever it is that y'all need them to know so we can get started with the interview. What's up? I'm Sunny. I'm Tally, and we are TLD, the topic of discussion. I don't know why I'm looking down there. <laughs> I did not know that was the group name, y'all. It's okay. Look at me. Hold on. That's just the Instagram name. But you said that you do your Instagram research. Yeah. I go look at the Instagram. So tell us how y'all became a duo. How y'all start making music together? We became a duo because we were a trio. Trio, yo. So we dropped the third leg. Okay. Dropped the management. Like we became independent. We went independent. So it has been independent been more, what's the word I'm looking for? Has that been better for you guys? Nope. Yeah. <laughs> no, definitely. You have more creative ready. control and more. Nobody in your ear telling you what then to you do. You have a your... clean slate, honey. You come out, you're neutral. You don't have nobody, you know, name attached to you that can jeopardize any business right. decisions that you have to make. So. so how long have y'all been making music together? Isn't this our 10th year anniversary yes. of friendship? Yes. That's a long time. So, so y'all yes. been making music since high school? Yes. What was y'all first song like? Was it good? <laughs> 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 yeah. Rest in peace. 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 Rest so like, as of right now, the what kind of tape was like the first? Because we had different levels. Levels of levels. <laughs> we were blush music, you know, little high school girl group, and then we were blush signed to Matthew Knows. Right. And then we were TLD. Right. So, so how did that name come about? What made y'all start calling yourself TLD? Because we were in the topic mm-hmm. of discussion in blush for sure. Yeah. We were always it was always in our name, always in our mouth. Yeah, yeah, we was always in their mouth. We were in the Houston myth. We were, you know. Comparisons to Destiny's Child at the time. And it was always us. We were too thick. We, too, we had to lose weight. You yeah. know. My name always be on my song. <laughs> topic of discussion. You're yeah. right. I love it. <laughs> Tell these bitches <laughs> stop playing with y'all. So what can we expect from y'all? What y'all got going on right now? What y'all doing at the moment? What y'all want to look out for? New music. We definitely just left the studio with because he best be good. Yes. Oh, Our producer Ali. He, he, makes some, he makes some good beats. He, he definitely does. He's coming up. But um, we actually have a new track that's in the works. Thank you, so You know, do a little thing, thing. Make a little thing, 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 thing okay? <laughs> Period. And that's what we need. Thing, thing, it's going to be lit. It's going to be lit. It's going to be some surprises on the song, too. So, so tell us, tell me somebody that y'all are waiting to collab with. Like that one person. Like, we can't make, wait to make a song with them. Or not even a musician. It could be a producer or writer. Just anybody who... We want to make music with you. And y'all don't even have that's to have the same thing. So you can pick the <laughs> part. I'm going to say Leonce because I just feel like that's an automatic shooter. Of course. It's, and then y'all from Houston. It's from Houston, and she's my, the Michael Jackson of our time. Right they now, say so. Beyonce gives people that, that golden touch. Yeah, it says. Once mm-hmm. you get touched by Beyonce, you just like. You want to get back to the You actually got a little too. Y'all say, come sit in my chair, girl. Let's talk. I got some things to ask you, girl. Yeah, for real. Oh, you want yours to be on stage as well? No, 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 that was hers. Um, Although, for sure, she tried, like, that's a straight, like, go ahead to keep. Um, I'm trying to think. Like, I was thinking of a producer, but I mean, Mine's definitely Drake. Drake. Yeah, Drake, Drake is the goal. Drake is the goal. He's one of the best rappers of all time, for sure. Anybody who say they don't like Drake, they hate it. Because I'm going, you like a Drake song. Like, like, it's something of it. Yeah, it's, like, some, it's some song. I want to work about his Drake. team, him and his team. It's oh, not yo. just him. Like, I want to work with his team. See, so you gotta eliminate Drake and you gotta go to the people behind the scenes. <laughs> right. Like I wanna go to the people behind the scenes with yeah. him. All yeah, because yeah, like, it's not really, it's not really him. I mean it's him, but you know, like his it's influence him, but is it's that not him. his team is which he talks about is like, yeah. you know, um his major yeah, like, backbone. So like of course I want him to know his voice for his team. Yeah, it's cause they the ones make the music for him out. Yeah. Oh, okay, we're gonna, gonna get you some out of my room. We still ran out of her drink, We're gonna refill her. 
so as of right now, what is y'all favorite song by your by yourselves? Like favorite songs made by you. Do you have that one song? I love the performance. I can't wait till it come on because this song it give me lit. Damn, lit. Mm. I mean, I've had a song perform, yeah. But like, I don't know, all of them are so special in their own way. It is hard to pick, but... It's, it's like your babies. I understand that. It is. It's hard because they get different vibes. They do. They are. I mean, I, my favorite song to perform has been by the guy that's like, yet to be top. But like, I don't know, like, this new song you about to come out with, it might be a favorite. You never know. You think it's going to be a fan favorite? It's going to be a fan favorite. It's going to make them feel... Nah. It's probably, yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of ass shaking, I know that. So, mm-hmm. well, that's like working. Song, girl. <laughs> <laughs> then it's working. Yeah. So, tell me about y'all most litest performance yet. I like to ask artists questions about the background, the performance, the the, the stuff that make y'all want to do it. You know, mm-hmm. not just the generic questions like, oh, what songs do you like? How is this beat? What, what's y'all favorite performance or y'all favorite city? It was just like, that show right there, they was lit. We we had fun this night. Oh, like in like ever that. or just like oh, ever? Damn. I feel like, like when we were when we were on tour and seven mm-hmm. we was in um on tour, I was trying to think. Um we was in Baytown, we was in uh No, we was in Sacramento. Was it Sacramento? It was Sacramento. You talking about the big performance? We was in the Bay. Bears. That was the Bay, right? That was sec- that was the bay. We was in the bay. We was in California. That's the bay. They was lit out there. I would yeah, imagine that because that's when the car got broken into, right? Oh, After the lit ass performance, and we went back to the band and it was broken into. Yeah, that's what that was the bay. <laughs> but they was lit. <laughs> no, that was the bay. They <laughs> was lit. But have, it, so have y'all had any performances that were not as lit? Like, like God, that was just like <laughs> okay, you know. We didn't, they wasn't as lit as we wanted them to be, but we still rocked the mic. He said it was a show where it wasn't that lit. The show where it wasn't that lit. Mm. Like, y'all still did y'all thing. It wasn't y'all, <laughs> but it worked them. The same, like, the that was like empty at the The bar. two cities after that, when we went to after that. Santa Cruz. Santa Cruz. And it was like, it was like five people in the venue, but they was lit. They was I ain't gonna lie. Five the five people in the <laughs> Hey, I was in there going hard, but this I was on like, tour. This was on this tour. Was we were the opener, we so it was like it was seven, other people. It was Seven Streeters. The girl just wrote the tour, oh, and it was so like it's her. Yes, but like, I like seven we still yeah, yeah, she had a great show. But yeah. Santa Cruz. Just so, are intimate, intimate audiences are they better than big audiences, or does that make you guys more nervous? I started like an intimate one because they give me more energy. Or I can feel the energy more. Like the times when we performed in stadiums, we performed in like stadiums before. And it's like, although you might, the crowd might hear the energy, like it's kind of hard to really like channel it. Sometimes up there, connect like, with it up there. We like to really yeah. 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 So many we'll people. Come shake your hand or dance with you or right. tap your ass, but we can't do that. Right. It's a big ass stage I gotta jump down from. <laughs> and then when you do get in a crowd, you ain't, ain't no telling what all these people gonna do True. to you. Right. Yeah. Y'all gonna be like, um, the bodyguard. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I see, we can't. Right. <laughs> so those intimate settings probably are a little bit more like mm-hmm. memorable, mm-hmm. shall I say. So have you guys had any crazy experiences yet? People following the tour books. Yeah. You know, we've had pop ups. We've had pop ups where we are before, threatening us, threatening to threaten the building. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Threatening us. Yeah. Yeah. Threatening us. 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 Yeah. Threatening I still be trying to sometimes. I'm not gonna lie, when it's still, I'm um, just still like, like when people run up to me somewhere in the store, they don't recognize us. Like I'm like, oh shit. I ain't gonna lie, it was one time. I guess it's when you don't. I don't know. When we found out, we were really chill. We were told we were the two who wasn't as excited as we should. Right. But I think it's because we just don't like to. 
get our hopes up. Like we're yeah. very chill, mellow people. And then it's like y'all already been through so much with this industry. Y'all yeah. probably don't. It's not like a yay for you now. Right. Like, and I was like, but we did kind of realize like. As far as like we can't go out just like with oh, like, yeah, normal that, people and stuff mean. no more. Like then when it started getting to that point, it was like all right, for someone like we, we can't give just a fuck how we look when we go get, like, right. This. Even I if it's like the store or like they gotta be careful how you I look, where you at, what <laughs> right. you doing, who you know? we like those type of things started to matter. So that's when it kind of became like city and like all right, I'm at a different level now. Yeah. Cause you it's know. like if you go out the house looking the same way, people gonna talk about you. Mm-hmm. You are gonna be all over the shade room. Look at her with her bonnet on. You know, we been in the shade room once. So yeah, bonnet's got to go in the uproar right now. So we don't want to be seen like that. But I feel like once I get to that point, I'm not gonna give a fuck. Like, yeah. I don't mind no business. Don't worry about it. Definitely. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I ain't never gave a fuck about how I looked when I got out the house. I ain't gonna start getting mad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if I want to be cute, don't no, fuck it up. If I don't, y'all gonna leave me fuck around. <laughs> don't worry about me. Exactly. So, through all of the tours that y'all have been through, all of the people that y'all met, has there been anybody so far that y'all performed? Well, no, I'm not gonna ask y'all that. Let me, let me form that in a different way. Because the way I was about to say it, I don't feel like it was so amazing. <laughs> okay. Out of all of the people that y'all have performed with, who did y'all have the best time with? Mm, Ro James. Ro James. Ro James. Ro James. Ro James. Yeah. Okay, bro. He's funny. He became, yeah. I don't and get that vibe from him. He's, he's, he's so very, mellow in his music. He is, yes, and he still mellow. is kind of mellow, but it's like a just a notch up from mm-hmm. mellow. Mm-hmm. It's like I'm still mellow, but, but I, I'm still I'm like. Wild. Yeah, I'm yeah. still catering to you. Like, hey, you good? Y'all need anything? I make conversation. I'll yeah, he has more of per- personality yeah. than a lot of artists we've been working. <laughs> I hear that yeah. a lot, though. So, artists don't have personality. You're right. Yeah. Because do you feel Everybody like... Everybody can't hold a conversation and do shit with people they just meet. Like, it's sometimes hard for people. Yeah. Do you feel like they don't have personalities because, because of who they are? Or because they feel like they can't have a personality because of who they are? Do you feel I think like it's for, it depends on the person. I think certain people have, some people have, you never know what people been through or how people are. I think it just depends. But I do know, and after me, you can kind of see where and why. Like, yeah, oh, this might true. be why you didn't probably get where you probably could have been because of that. Yeah. You can kind of, it's that noticeable. Well, like people say this about you. Yeah, and, and then I now, see why they say yeah, yeah, yeah. Because now, now I mean, because, you know what I mean? So, yeah, that's yeah. more so. Yeah, it's like sometimes when you meet certain people, they don't they don't live up to the standard that mm. you put them yeah, at. You know. Like once you meet the real person versus the person who you see on the TV or on the Instagram, mm. then you meet them in real life. It's like, oh, yeah, yeah, this is how you are. <laughs> I've had some experience like this too, so I understand. Oh, yeah. I ain't gonna say no names on the camera, you know, but I most yeah. definitely had that experience. Like you meet somebody, you so excited, like, mm. oh, I'm gonna meet this person today, and then when you meet them, it's just like. Bitch, this is how you act. <laughs> how the fuck you get this far? This is how you act? Like, for real? Yeah, I understand. I feel like I don't want nobody to never say that about me, though. I'm going to act the same way all the time. <laughs> what you see on this camera, bitch, that's what you see on this. What you're going to see outside the camera. I don't give a fuck nowhere. On the camera, off the camera. No, <laughs> I don't give a fuck nowhere. <laughs> so tell us a common misconception about y'all. Something that people believe that it's just like, okay, bitch, listen. That's not the truth, and I want y'all to stop saying this shit. It's a lot of you, right? Um, well, <laughs> just recently we had to clear the rumor that we are not together. <laughs> I didn't thought y'all was girlfriends. Yeah, special friends, fucking friends, I don't know, something. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that people we think something. they're my best friends. Fuck them too. You know, it's like... They've started since high school. I yeah, mean... Same. But are y'all really friends if people don't think y'all are fucking? <laughs> right, at this point. Right. I feel like at this point. Yeah, right. if people right. are not accusing y'all That's why I be capitalizing on it. It's like, okay, because I know I've seen other females with their friends. And then I've seen other females with their friends. And it's like, like I'd rather have this relationship. Yeah. Y'all look boring. <laughs> That's how I feel about me and my best friend. I be seeing other bitches like, this how you act with your friends? Best yeah. friends be fighting and talking about each other on Twitter and shit. Y'all be like, no, we yeah, would no. never do that. 
it be people who comment on our friendship and they be like, I wish I had a friend, a bond like y'all's. And I swear I be looking at some of their posts like, damn, that's not your bond? Right. With they friend? And they yeah, talking about like, like, but my thing is, how do you know? You don't know us. That's right. We're breaking the phone. Really? I didn't think that too. And I'm like, I don't know. But then I feel like some people, I guess, genuinely maybe able to feel energy through. People say the same thing about the sea girls too. But it's just like, how can you know? You don't know. At the end of the day, you just. You just going off for the pictures. You can take this picture too, bitch. Get your phone. Get it up. Get it up. Take the picture. Take the picture. Like, people tell me that too with my best friend. I'll be like, why are you saying that you're weird? Don't tell us. <laughs> I think that's just what they want to see. Right? Yeah. Just don't want to see. Mm-hmm. 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 That's mm-hmm. funny though. Yeah. Y'all saying that people think y'all together. That's just really mm-hmm. made me laugh. Because we do think every day. Bitch could post a picture of me. I just know y'all. Why I just know it. Like, really? They didn't really on it. Yeah, they didn't really on it. People be telling y'all that too. Like, I just. Y'all ain't never did. Well, they never would say it until we started. Yeah. And then we questioned it. Right. People responded. And even me and bitch were best friends. Till we die. We ain't telling you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and if we were, it's not true. What you gonna do about it? <laughs> if we what were, what do they do for you? That's my business. Stay out of. But the reason why they asking is because they want to tag along. That's what it is. They want to tag along. They want to be third member. <laughs> Period. Not speaking of third members. Are y'all single? Do y'all have boyfriends, girlfriends, whatever? Let the people know, cause you know I'm pretty sure they want to know. I know y'all DMs be lit. Sorry. Yeah. I got a little boo, you know what I'm saying? Girl, I'm no, sorry. I got a girl. You got a girlfriend? What about you? <laughs> I, I got a guy. <laughs> okay. So for all of y'all, y'all know now. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't none of that. Get out that goddamn DM. She got a girlfriend. She got a boyfriend. Oh yeah, definitely. Stop this shit. Definitely. I yeah. asked everybody that because I just know that I know people DMs be leaving. Oh yeah, they. they, they so they, since they. we speaking on DMs, tell me the craziest thing that y'all seen in y'all DMs. Or oh, one of them DMs you said it was just like. I mean, I feel like the normal was like the random dick pics, right? Like, I, I got Shelby but I never allowance. the dick pics, that bro. Me I haven't reached that level yet. And I don't want to reach it. I don't want to reach it. Yeah. I don't want to reach that. I mean, it's, it, it's randomly the foreign people. Like, yeah. I, I don't know who the level these foreign motherfuckers, but every black bitch don't want you. <laughs> so, like, oh. sorry, bro. It's not how it works. <laughs> the allowance. Somebody asked me that I want. They be asking you gonna be a sugar baby. Yeah, yeah, I get them. Yeah, all the time. All the time. How about you start with asking me for my cash up first, and then we can move on from something. So me and my girlfriend can share the allowance. That's what happens. I'm gonna use your money to buy her some shoes. I promise. I promise. That's what's gonna happen. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. The typical thing. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Sugar, sugar daddies. They ain't random, just a few times. Or the, the, the ones that's still random, but it'd be the ones like where these people you actually know are the pay scene, are they past, and now all of a sudden they want to shoot their shot. Like, oh, yeah. You know, I've been looking and I've been peeping. Niggas, they used to bully you in middle school. Yeah, or just no, really. just, you been, been in the room plenty of times and like, they never. Gave us that energy. That that energy. Was That's yeah. my thing. If you in my face a lot, you a lot, a lot, and then you don't lie. even give me like don't have me in the dark. Now I've already friends on you, homeboy, you brother, you and you over here in my DM. <laughs> trying to be nice. Doing something. Exactly. <laughs> to be so nice. now I gotta send you little funny things like you crossed the line. Yeah. <laughs> you just tell me where you're ha, ha ha ha, you funny. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> ha ha ha, you funny cousin. Give. <laughs> gotta sure. send the gift. Yeah, make sure you emphasize on you funny cousin. You funny cousin. <laughs> 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 right, bruh. That's niggas have that bad. Like they'll see you somewhere and then wait till they get home and be like, I seen you. Okay. I seen you. Too. Okay, well that moment has passed. You, did, you didn't say nothing when you seen me. So what the fuck is you saying it for now? You, you just seen me. Yeah, and then I'm like, well that's scary of you. Yeah. You're mighty weak. Mighty, I'm too big for you to be weak. Mighty stalkerish. Mighty stalkerish. <laughs> mighty stalkerish. That's what it is. Yeah. So have you guys ever had any, since y'all been famous, have y'all had any stalkers, anybody following y'all around, like, y'all Oh yeah. Up? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We didn't have someone pop up when we was getting a daiquiri at a daiquiri shop. We posted it in our story, yeah. and lo and behold, they popped up, yeah. and didn't see nothing wrong with it. Yeah. Like, they were awkward, of course, but mm. I came to see y'all. Yeah, okay. and we like, how, what? There's a lot of people in the world that just be on some... 
Well, it's like being a little too. It's a different reality. It, it was given Deborah Cox. How did you get here? <laughs> <laughs> Deborah, how did you get, get here? How did you I'm get here? big. <laughs> Where did you come from? <laughs> Okay, y'all. Yeah, I'm gonna stop coming to be serious. <laughs> okay, so what was y'all favorite video? Out of all the videos that y'all have, the one that was the funnest to create, the funnest to come up with, mm-hmm. or the one that y'all was most excited to shoot? Mm-hmm. Well, we can't pick something. I know. Well, the fact that y'all can't pick nothing says a lot, though, because that means y'all passionate well, about all of y'all yeah. stuff, that you can't just pick one. Because if y'all answer fast, then I'll be like, mm-hmm. I feel like one of them is it. Oh my god, that was fine. I think I like what my I mean you could pick a different one. No. I was thinking it was me. It was between what my girls at. And um trying to think anyway. But I was gonna go with different one my girls at. Are there any songs that you guys haven't sampled yet that y'all would like to? Oh I know there's some out there, it. but it's just hard to think of right off the dome right now. Yeah. But there's definitely some stuff. I don't want to put it out there and it's like, take my sample. Nope. <laughs> I understand. I feel that. Because I do be having a lot of artists. Oh, no, so put that so in the air. I do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I got a stash. Yep. So my next favorite question to ask all artists that come on my show. Top five favorite albums. You go, then you go. Wait. What? Your top five favorite albums. Albums? Yes, ma'am. Okay, well, I got to go with... Michael Jackson off the wall. Oh, yes. I'm gonna go with Beyonce. No, I'm gonna go Destiny's Child. The Destiny's Child album, the first, first, first search. Oh, um, and then I'm gonna go with Chris Brown, uh, his first album. That's a good one. Uh, Christina Aguilera, uh, the one with uh, the Mulan song and the Kanye. That one. That one. And then, <laughs> what's my feel one? And I feel like I can go for anybody. Shit. Whichever, whoever, whoever y'all feel is the move, but uh, I don't know. Who's my feel one? It gotta be a good one, because it's the last one. Because it's the last one. I don't know. I don't know. Because I really don't jam albums. I jam songs all the time. I go with DJ Cali because I feel like I get a variety. In the DJ the, the new one, the one you just came out with. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that new one hard. I'm not gonna lie. Every person that he put on there, they did what needed yeah. to be done. Mm-hmm. Especially be, it's even Beyonce with her five seconds. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When he posted what he posted, I thought my bitch was gonna come on there I and hate. sing a whole verse. Mm-hmm. That bitch kept on there somebody. Like, hey. Yeah. I said, girl, you is extra. I know you did not make this man sign the NDA for you to say, hey. But see, everybody needs to really reach Beyonce. Nobody is never gonna really reach Beyonce's level of stardom. That bitch can charge you a million dollars for three words. <laughs> and period, she's winning in life right hey. now. Hey. Okay, your hey, turn. Dang, I was too. For one, my first one is Learn Hill Men's Education. Oh, yes. My second one is um, the album it Changes with Tupac. You know, he released Changes. Changes. That's what, um, that's uh, that's uh, that's uh. It's not, um, Tupac is my favorite fucking rapper. I'm drinking right now, so I can't think of it. I was just trying to think, yeah, but my service not working. But anyway, that one. Um, what's third? What's that? What's the, um, the album with Mary J. Blige? Um, my life. My life? You my life? It's no. horrible. We cannot do albums. We can't remember the albums. But I remember probably the songs, but I can't remember the title of the album. But anyway, Heart. And then um, Life, his album. I literally just. Life Genius? Yes. Yeah, he um, He was like one of my top. Like, I don't know. I really, my childhood, I love that man. Well, when he came out. Uh, what else? That's, that, that's four. So that's my last one. I think an album that I actually listen to from beginning to end. A Drake one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Damn, Drake, my bad. It's so many with him, and I yeah, had to pick one that's album true. with him. That's true. Nothing was the same. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> that's a good one. Drake got them albums Nothing that's was the same. Yeah. You know, you gotta listen to the whole thing. Even though, you know, sometimes you don't be in the mood for all of the songs. Mm-hmm. When you first listen to them, you gonna be like, 
you gonna end up listening to it anyway. Yeah. Even if you don't like one of them, you gonna get you like that motherfucker. If you don't like it when you first hear it, you gonna keep hearing that motherfucker. You don't like all right. I guess I guess I guess I can listen to it. I always like to ask artists about their five favorite albums because you know I like old music. So when I interview artists, I like to ask them those old school passionate type of questions. Like where where you get the, the, the feelings to write this song? You know, how what made you feel like that? And not all artists are still passionate about music the way they used to be. You know, these bitches just be doing it, just to do it. Yeah. But back then, you know, that was really hurt. You know, you could feel their emotions when they was writing their song, you know. Like for example, Rose Royce. I was listening to that the other day. I love Rose Royce. I always jammed her. But I was listening to um, oh, what's my song called? You won't be me. You know, and love, love don't live here no more. Oh, I was there listening we go. To that, and I was just like, damn, this bitch was hurt. <laughs> like my bitch was really hurt because she just had to sit there and write that. It's not my shit like that no more. Everybody want to talk about the same thing. They pussy and they man and taking your man and I'm gonna take his money and all of it. I said it's bad, but you know, we need more than it. What about the bitches who actually like to make music? And I'm in the studio because I'm ready for my fans to hear this. I put my heart into this album. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? People don't really need Some people do, you know. But those are the artists that I be wanting to be on my show. So we yeah. actually have something to talk about. Not <laughs> <laughs> oh, I woke up, you know. Uh, I, like you. I, I went to the studio and I shit. I just, just said it was on my mind, you know what I'm saying? That's it. <laughs> I don't <hear> shit. <laughs> What is oh it? What was on my mind? I, I, wanna, I mean, but that's how it is. But I get it. I can't overthink it. They won't allow you to. I must <laughs> definitely get that vibe from y'all, though. Like, even when I did my research and I listened to y'all songs for the first time, I was like, okay. I like them. I need to ask them if they want to be on the show. I really thank thought y'all wasn't going to respond to me on some shit. Oh, like, I don't know. I just, it's like, I don't know. They ain't never seen me before. I don't know them. They don't know me. But literally from the first, the way I had found y'all was one of my friends, she had, she was doing something with y'all. And I was like, who is this? Like, I just went to go look. I was like, okay. At first I was just looking just because, you know, just being nosy. But then I was like, okay. That's usually how we get Yeah, then I went to go follow and then boom. Yep. Here they is. Now they sitting right here. Right here. Now. This is Drunk Diaries, and there are certain type of questions that I got to get into before this camera go off. The things that people come for. So are y'all ready? Okay. This is the shit that people come for right here. I'm just kidding. Now, I'm going to start off mildly. I'm going to start off with a mild question. Tell tell me a crazy drunk story. Something crazy that you (laughs) need. And or high, if you don't drink. Uh, I have so many, I don't even know. Let me start. (laughs) Yeah, you are the one who has the story. No, um, I'm still trying to remember. Oh, I know mine. This. Go ahead. Are you bored? No, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember which one that I'm trying to remember. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hot <high> shit. <laughs> I'm trying to... I can't. Okay. Excuse me. So mine's is where were we? Okay, we were actually doing the strip club run for one of our songs. First time doing a strip club run. <laughs> now tell us what a strip club run is for those who might. Oh like yeah, you right. Let me clear that up. Yes, strip club strip run club is where you basically go to these clubs and you meet. You know, you go network and conversate with the DJ. He spins your record. You're in the section. Be there for a certain amount of time. They will spin your song maybe twice. Dance is a dance to it. Get your clip. Dip. Yeah. <laughs> so um, we were doing that and basically do it either a week ever like a few of them a night or a different ones throughout the week we went for the week because we be tired <laughs> we're early birds not it's a sad house. thing to get tired of the strip club you know it is but you know they were kind of lazy and then it wasn't they wasn't they were kind of lazy oh they was not the break your back kind of strip yeah. See, bitch, if I'm finna give you my money, you better yeah. You better shake your fast and watch yourself. Hold on, stand here in front of me. <laughs> yeah, so I, I got I got a little uh, lid off her lits that she was getting. The I let go of the, lo- the Long Islands. Long I got us two lids. Girl, that is my dream. <laughs> so we were got so lit and I could not give. I couldn't even. I was stuck. Like, I, I didn't even know. I, I didn't know. Don't tell And we couldn't get up. Like, we had to wait till I was ready. Because I was like, I can't get carried out this club. 
oh, ambulance can't come. <laughs> oh, yeah, so it's not I built up enough muscle strength, and I was like, I threw up in the cup. I'm gonna say it. I had been cuffed and I threw up. Like it was so bad, but nobody knew what was happening because oh, I was that. Like I was chilling, like in my cup, like I'm drinking, but I wasn't. <laughs> I was like, all right, I'm gonna get up out of here. As soon as I was like, okay, I'm ready. I got up and I walked out. Got out. I walked like nothing was wrong. And lived. Got to the door. Got out the door. And you was no more good. Over. <laughs> I, was like, Fuck. I, was, I was so mad that I was that fucked up. And what was but you I doing? It took a minute to catch on. We were sitting on opposite sides of the section. So like I'm looking across and I stared at her for a long time because she was in one spot for like a long time. And I was like, damn, she ain't moved in a long time. So she moved, she like pulled herself forward and she was just sitting there and I saw a tear roll out her eyes. I said, what the hell? I walked up over there. I, can't I sat drink. down. I was like, I what's wrong? Like, it was like a movie. It was so funny. And she was just like, so hold on. Drink. That's and mind you, I still don't know what's going on. She's telling me, hold on. Give me a minute. Hold on. So would you consider yourself a lightweight? Well, I have a hernia. I have a hiatal hernia. So that's what it, it inflamed it. Yeah. The alcohol inflamed it. So the drink, actually, that's why it hit me super hard. Like, I would've been drinking, but I had only had two. But the alcohol made My me. My grandmother used to have one. Yeah. So I definitely understand. Yeah, so health reasons, I don't need to have any. <laughs> <laughs> that oh, might be good. That might be good. You know? <laughs> Might be good. Right. Mm. You you ready to get into your story? <laughs> Cause from she say you got the, you got all the stories. Look, I got a few fun stories, but for some reason, what I remember right now is when we stayed at our old house, our old apartment, and we went out with just Brittany, and she got us really drunk. It was either was it her birthday or her mom's birthday? I don't know what birthday it was, but it was somebody's birthday. We started out at this one club, we went to this other club, we ended up at this other club. You made me think about that TikTok. It's like, boom, club. Another club. No, literally. Another club. Another club. Another club. That was literally what happened. Another club. Another club. Another club. Another club. No, drink. Another club. Drink. Like, literally, that's how it was. And by the time we got to the last club, we on our ass drunk. Like, oh, on head. our ass, on our head drunk. And we went back to the thing. I mean, to okay. So it was us. This was when it was three of us. So it was other member, and then we had our friend Maya with us, and my girlfriend at the time, and this random guy that we ended up bringing home. <laughs> so <laughs> that's why the guy pulled the fuck up. No, we knew right. who he we was, knew who he was but, but he did he not come with us. Okay. okay, he didn't come with us. Well, listen, I don't judge so nobody. Okay. Not no, nobody not, not, and it doesn't like that even happened. He was washing dishes he in our house. Like he, no, he was like he was washing the dishes in he our was house. Up and he like wash dishes. Yes, like we had right before we left, so some dishes left in the thing. So like everybody was drunk. And anyway, our friends. So we have one friend who's sober enough to help us put the pieces together the next morning, right? Her name is Maya. So, she tells me that for some reason, we want to perform. We, we, we rapping, we Is singing. this your story or our story? It's mine. It's to be yours. It's okay. mine. I want to hear, we are us. But <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you was there. But you <laughs> was there. You was there. All right. They we, know you and, was and there. And what I'm saying, we, I'm not even talking about her right now. I was I'm actually talking about her. Because she. I don't even remember what she was in this moment. I do not remember. I'm, when I'm saying we, I'm talking about somebody else. But I, out on the I was like dead weight. And I supposedly I got hot. So I tried to hurry up and take my clothes off. And she had to push me in the room so that I ain't hurry to take my clothes off in front of everybody. <laughs> then I fell asleep next to the toilet. And I just remember waking up with graham crackers on me. And I was like crumbs. Like, you know, like I'm coming outside of my <laughs> How long she was force fed? <laughs> and then she was like, when well, she was trying to feed you graham crackers. And I was like, why? And she was like, because you was drunk. Soak up the alcohol. Bro, yeah. bro. That was like the first time I think I ever like experienced like a blackout drunk out. Like I could not remember what happened. Yeah, they had the walker, walker I through. Like that was the first time. Because I was like, man. People you know me, but mine ain't never drink while I can't remember. So really basically, we learned to never do peer pressure drinking ever again. Ever again. See, my first time getting blood out of was my 21st birthday. But see, I feel like that's when you're supposed to do it. Yeah. It was my 21st we birthday. Were late. We were late, but we were late. 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 We
I just want to thank y'all so much for coming on our show. Thank we you. had a very yes. fun interview. You can go ahead and tell them y'all Instagram, tell them where to find y'all, where to follow y'all, where to find y'all music, Ali. Mm, like I said, I'm Sunny. I'm Tally. And we're T.O.D. The topic of discussion. And you can actually follow us at officially T.O.D. The link in our bio has everything you need. The link to all our music. But if not, you can go to our music. Yep, all our videos, YouTube, officially T.O.D. Type that in. Everything officially T.O.D. Period. I'm so sorry for saying y'all name wrong at the beginning. You know, but you was telling them officially Todd. That's that's, that's, that's the, the IG. That's the IG. That takes you right, right. now where you need to be. Period. Y'all make sure y'all follow us on Instagram, Drunk with 2Ks, Dot Diary, on Twitter, Drunk Diary with 2Ys. Subscribe and turn on notifications on so you never miss an episode. Period. Y'all have a good night.